Good evening, Accelerated Math. So we have figured out um, in past mini lessons how to multiply fractions and how to divide fractions. One last thing it, that's hard about these is sometimes figuring out in a word problem whether multiplying or dividing is the right thing to do. Um, there's no such thing as multiplying. Multiply. So please um, pause the video here, write this title on the next page of your math notebook, and then when you're done, mark your page, close it up, and All right, so real quick, let me review how to multiply and divide fractions because after we figure out which to do, I'm going to do them real quick with the standard algorithm. Luckily, the standard algorithm is real fast for both, but just a quick refresher on those. Let me pick maybe the fractions uh, 3 fourths and 2 fifths. So I want to multiply those two fractions. Um, the standard algorithm for multiplying is the super easy one. I just multiply my numerators and I multiply my denominators and I'm done. Um, to divide the two fractions, I want to do 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths. Um, the way I do that is I multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. And now I just use the fast multiplication strategy. We get 15 eighths, which is 1 and 7 eighths. Um, division is not commutative. So if I reverse the order of my fractions, if I divide 2 fifths divided by 3 fourths, I will not get the same answer. Just to warn you, you've got to, when you remember, when you divide, order matters. When you multiply, it doesn't. I do 2 fifths times 4 thirds, I get 8 fifteenths. Different, did I do that right? Yeah, different answer. So just remember that. Division, it's important to remember, am I doing this divided by this or this divided by this? Multiplying doesn't matter so much. Either way, I, either order you multiply and you get the same thing. All right, so remember our goal here is to figure out whether to multiply or divide. Trying to figure out if this is a multiplication problem or a division problem. So let me talk you through four. So let's do an I do uh, with the fractions one half and one fourth. So first one, Ms. James has one half of her sushi roll left to eat. She likes it so much that she decides to give a fourth of it to Miss Johnson to try. How much did she give her? So what I've got here, she's going to give Miss Johnson one-fourth of her one-half of sushi. Right? She's going to take a fourth of the half. So the first thing I kind of want to tell you is if I couldn't decide whether to multiply or divide and I tried it, I'm, only one of the answers is going to be reasonable. If I real quick said, okay, this is either going to be one fourth times one half is uh, one eighth, or this is going to be one fourth divided by one half, which is one fourth times two wholes. That's two fourths. Or if I even divided in the other order and did one half divided by one fourth, that would be one half times four wholes is four halves is two. So I'm looking up these answers and like I can, if I just understand the situation, if she has half and she gives part of it to Miss Johnson, that's gonna be less than half that she's giving Miss Johnson, right? So it's obviously not half, that's all of it. And it's obviously not two whole sushi rolls. So first thing I can do is I can say, well, this has to be a multiplication answer because only one of these even makes any sense at all. But as I think through here, whenever I have an uh, if I can word it like this, where I'm giving one fourth of one half, of is a word that tells you to multiply. It's one of those magic words like groups or sets 
that lets you know you should multiply. So I know this is going to be one fourth times one half because of that, because I can word it with that of. She gives one fourth of it to Miss Johnson. And so I know she gives an eighth of her sushi to Miss Johnson. And that makes sense. She gives a little bit. She gives part of a half, she gives a little bit away. So same fractions over here in a division situation. Division situations sound more like this. Miss this James has half of her sushi roll left to eat, just like the last one, but she's full. She decides to cut it into one-fourth of a roll size pieces to give away. How many pieces can she make? So think that situation where she's got half of it, and she's cutting it into pieces that are a fourth of a roll. So I want to think through my situations here. Um, you know, she's cutting a piece into smaller pieces, so I, I can tell from here she can make more than one piece. I don't exactly know how many, but obviously if she has half and she's cutting it into pieces, she can make more than one piece. So th this doesn't make sense, and this doesn't make sense. So right off the bat, even if I don't know if it's multiplication and division, and I try my three situations, it's pretty obvious to me that this must be the right one, because it's the only one that makes sense. So this is how division problems sound, right? I have a, I have a part, and I'm dividing that part into groups, or into sets, or into pieces in some way. So I'm going to take my half a roll and divide it into pieces that are the size of a fourth of a roll, into sets of fourth of a roll, one fourth of a roll size pieces. And so that's going to be a half times the reciprocal is two. So she can give two pieces to her friends. She can make pieces for two friends. Okay? I'm going to do another one just to kind of keep thinking through those ideas before you let one go. All right, this is going to involve the fractions two thirds and one so the first one, two-thirds of the students at Artie Head remembered to dress up for picture day. Of those students, one-fourth of those are girls. What fraction of students at Artie Head dressed up for picture day and are girls, I should have wrote. Okay, so here's the thing again. I've got an of situation. One-fourth of the two-thirds of students dressed up. One, two-thirds dressed up, one-fourth of them are girls. So I'm looking for a fourth of two-thirds to know my whole situation. Now again, if I couldn't decide whether or not to multiply or divide here, if my choices are two-thirds times one-fourth, that's two-twelfths. Two-thirds divided by one-fourth, that's two-thirds times four wholes. That's eight thirds, that's like one and no, two and two thirds. Um, or one fourth divided by two thirds, which is one fourth times three halves, that's three eighths. So right off the bat, I can tell this is totally unreasonable. There's no way it's this one, because two and two thirds, that's you know, more than all of the students. You know, more that, that's two whole schools and two two thirds of a school. Um, so I know it's not that, and so I only have to decide between these two. So sometimes you can rule some out just with the situation. So as I told you before, want an of situation. If you can ever word it where I'm looking for a fraction of a fraction, one fourth of the two thirds, then that's a multiply situation. It just should be a magic. And that means that two twelfths of the students are both, are girls who dressed up for picture day. Okay? Division situation, remember, they talks about groups or sets or pieces, right? So caviar is sold in one-fourth ounce servings. I have two-thirds of an ounce of caviar. How many servings can I sell? So it's like, how many groups of this can I make from this? And that's a division situation. Um, again, just with logic, I can say, well, if, if, a, if, if this is way bigger than this, right? So if I, I'm making groups of this until I get to there, I can make more than a group. I can make more than two groups 
because two groups would be a half an ounce, and that's more. So I can already tell this is going to be the one, because that these two don't make sense. So I've got a situation where I'm taking my two-thirds of an ounce, and I'm dividing it into groups of one-fourth. And that is two-thirds times four holes. Take my reciprocal, and that is eight-thirds, which is two and two-thirds. So I can make two and two-thirds servings of caviar. All right, let's do two uh, together. Hopefully you've got them. So open up, and let's talk about one half and two thirds, right? This is our Mountain Dew guy. The Mountain Dude, see what I did there? The Mountain Dew, he poured half of his dew into a glass. Then he drank two thirds of the glass. How much of the Mountain Dew did he drink? So he drank two thirds of the one half he poured. And if I can word it that way, I'm going to multiply. Two thirds times a half. And you'll remember this answer probably he drank two sixths of the dew. And that makes sense, right? If I had divided, I may have got, I would probably have gotten something that didn't make any sense in this situation. Let's see. Um, you know, two thirds divided by a half. That's two thirds times two holes. That is more than a whole dew, four thirds. He definitely didn't drink one and a third Mountain Dews. That doesn't make any sense. What if I had divided them the other way? A half divided by two thirds. That would be a half times three halves. That would be three fourths of a Mountain Dew. Also makes no sense. He, he drank less than half of one. We saw it happen. So a lot of times, just by trying, if you can't tell, hopefully you can tell. That's what I want you to be able to do after this mini lesson. But if you can't tell, sometimes just trying all three and saying, well, what, I mean, only one of those even makes sense in the situation. And so that can help you know, too, if you can't tell. Okay? Division situations sound more like this. The Mountain Dude poured half of his dew into a glass, let's, which we saw. And now a new situation I just made up. He loves dew so much, he wanted to let as many people as possible have a sip of it. When somebody takes a sip of soda, they usually sip about 1 20th of a can. How many people can have a sip? So now I'm taking my half a dew, and I'm making groups of, or sets of, or pieces of, 1 20th of a dew. Because when somebody drinks something, that's how much they drink. And so that means one half times the reciprocal, which means 20 halves, which means 10 people can have a sip. Is that reasonable? I think so. If you had half a soda and you just passed it around till everybody had a sip, something like 10 people, that's a pretty reasonable amount. So that's the magic thing, right? Of means multiply. If you're making sets of, that means divide. That's what I hope you got out of the mini lesson. We'll do a couple when you get here tomorrow. Have a great evening.